I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast, that is thine. Matthew chapter 25, verse 25. And a talent is a unit of money. But whatever one's means, our means are towards accomplishing. Time was, I shrank from what was right, from fear of what was wrong. I would not brave the sacred fight, because the foe was strong. But now I cast that finer sense, and sore shame aside. Such dread of sin was indolence, such aim at heaven was pride. J. H. Newman. Well, there is the proper aim at heaven. There's the fear of committing sin, but that shouldn't keep one from living an active life. If he falls into some error, he does not fret over it. But rising up with a humble spirit, he goes on his way a new rejoicing. Were he to fall a hundred times in a day, he would not despair. He would rather cry out lovingly to God, appealing to his tender pity. The really devout man has a horror of evil, but he has a still greater love of that which is good. He is more set on doing what is right than avoiding what is wrong. Generous, large-hearted, he is not afraid of danger in serving God, he, and would rather run the risk of doing his will imperfectly than not to strive to serve him lest he fail in the attempt. Jean Nicholas Grew February the 9th. And of course, we know that that large-heartedness is a metaphor, because we know what that means medically, don't we? 